Hey guys, this is Darnon again. It's been a while since I made a video, so I figured it would be good to start off on this. Um, I am dual boxing these two tunes currently, and a lot of people have been asking me ever since I started dual boxing that how I can make a melee character a secondary character and not be in direct control of him. And I am going to demonstrate that for you now. It all is within the Blizzard UI and the program I use called Key Clone. Key clone, I will put a link in the description, uh, but basically it just allows me to mimic the key presses I make from one client and puts them into another. So if I hit two in this one, it will hit two on my druid and so forth. Uh, dual boxing takes a lot of use of macros. Uh, basically what I just did to make my druid go and target that uh, dummy was a assist uh, hunter, my hunter macro. Oops. Well... I guess that's a good way to demonstrate how to switch targets. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take a break from this and show you exactly what you need to do to set that up and control it. Alright guys, now let me take you real quick through this. Um, basically, you have to go through your interface, yes, and mouse, and you have to enable click to move. Basically what this does is it allows you to click, right click on the ground, and you can move anywhere you want to. All right. That's pretty simple. It's in the standard Blizzard UI. And the next thing you have to do is... Where did it go? I just had it. Right here. Interact with targets. You have to keybind that ability to wherever you want, wherever you prefer, where it's easily mashable. Because, um, for example, if, I need, if I'm attacking a player and the player moves out of my range, I will not be able to keep attacking them. I have to hit that button again to get him to switch and move to that target. And basically what you've done since you have enabled interact with target, you have allowed yourself to right click, but then right click and you will run up and start attacking. I have not tried this on a caster or my hunter yet, but I am pretty sure my hunter will be able to also move into uh, range to use her abilities as well if I were to reverse this and control the hunt or control the druid first and the hunter second. So so that is pretty much all there is to it. Um, you do have to make a bunch of macros for this to work though. For example, like I said, the uh, assist macro I have. Um, basically when I hit two on my hunter, it will activate this macro here, which is assist darn hunter, which is my hunter. So I will target whatever my hunter is targeting on this character. Start attack, that's just a command to make yourself uh, automatically start auto attack. And then the cast sequence I have on here is just uh, you know to go through a very basic rotation so I can get some combo points and use my abilities and not have to have too much button mashing going on on my hunter to make sure I'm using all of my abilities on my druid and that about covers it I do believe if you have any questions for me go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys later I Bye. wish you well.